Hey Anya, how are things? Hi Emma, good. Yeah, all good. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um, I suppose obviously an exciting week. Um, it's everywhere. Every European player wants to play in the Champions League. What's the feelings in the camp? Yeah, I think everyone's really excited and and looking forward to the trip. I think it's obviously been a a long time coming around now with the COVID. It got postponed in August and then in, again in October as well. So the format's changed slightly different. But um, yeah, look, it's really exciting and everyone's buzzing to get going. Good stuff. And then obviously, Anya, you've had some really, really strong league form. So looking forward to taking that in with you. Um, there must be, I suppose, just a very good feeling in the setup. Yeah, I think so. Probably, obviously, the timing of the Champions League may be changing, maybe as suited us that we've gotten a, a good run of league games in as well. And and building a bit of momentum as well. And so, yeah, look, we're looking to bring that in and hopefully we can form to our, our ability. We know we're going to be up against a, a good Glasgow side, but um, we're, we're going to go out there. We've nothing to lose, give it our best shot and, and hopefully get a result. Of course. And then, Anya, obviously, there's a there's a big Irish cohort, an international cohort in the setup. You'll obviously be looking forward, I suppose. It's the ideal opportunity to bounce back from the disappointment in Kiev to kind of make a statement on the biggest stage you can. Yeah, I think so. I think um, obviously uh, it's nice to get back out playing again after after the disappointment um, of the game in Kiev. So uh, look, we're all looking forward to what I think um, we've got quite an experienced squad as well. And um, I know their team's full of Scottish internationals. Um, we have past and present and underage internationals in our team as well. So look, it should, it should be a good game and we're just looking forward to the challenge. Good stuff. And then last one for me, Anya, there's obviously two familiar faces in the Glasgow setup in Claire Shine and Tyler Toland. Um, I suppose looking forward to being reunited with them first off, but then the height of the challenge ahead. Obviously, Glasgow, I think they're going for 14 in a row in Scotland and they got to the quarterfinals of the Champions League last year. So the task is huge. Yeah, I think so. Obviously, there's great Irish interest in the game. Tyler Toland recently um, going on a, a long move to Glasgow and and Claire Shine as well, two two usually talented players as well. So that just goes to show you what we're up against, let alone that they full of Scottish internationals and they got to the quarter final last year. So um they're very experienced in the Champions League. Um it's something that's quite new to a lot of our players as well. But look, we'll go into the game with no fear and, and hoping to put in a good performance. Okay, well, thanks, Anya. Best of luck. Thanks, Emma. Cheers. Rough, rough channel. Hi, Anya. Uh, can you hear me? Hi, there? Hi. Yeah, can yeah, you? Uh, oh, perfect. Okay. Um, Glasgow have only really started their season in the last couple of weeks. Um, are you kind of using that as a potential advantage because the, your season started in August? Yeah, look, obviously it's good that we've gotten a, a lot of games under our belt this season and um, nearly finishing out the season um, now. And obviously they just played their second league game yesterday as well. But you can't forget that they're a professional setup as well. and. Um, we don't have that status quite yet in our PMM team, although most of us would have a, we're obviously an amateur status, we have a very professional attitude, so um, and bringing their experience in from last year but yeah, I think that, obviously with the international break and then we no league game this weekend either, um, it's been a while since we, di we did play a game but I think the, the fact that we've got good momentum in the league should stand by us And on top of the momentum as well, it's a good battle with Shells at the moment uh, domestically, and I guess um, given how nip and tuck it is in the league, it must uh, keep that intensity going now that you're kind of going to Europe as well. Yeah, like obviously, um, yeah, it's a really intense uh, end to the season. We're playing the top four teams left in the league, and Shells have found really good form at the moment. Um, with a good win against Cork at the weekend, so yeah, it's really really tight, which is great for the league. I think it's really exciting and keeps us all on top of our game and. Um, hoping to raise the intensity now going into the game on Wednesday. And uh, I suppose finally for me, just on the kind of format as well, obviously it being one-legged as well, how are you kind of uh, I suppose building into that um, in comparison to um, the experience? Yeah, look, it's, I probably think it's probably a little bit advantageous for us. It's a one-off game um, against a team that competed in the, in the quarter-finals last year, so we just have to go out and Give it, give it everything we have, and and um, play to our ability. And I think uh, we have the players and and the squad to to get a result. Thanks. Thank Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Anya, as a young player, you played against uh, PSG in the for Piedmont in the knockout stages of this competition. Have you any advice to the young players in your squad? 
yeah, like I think they just need to embrace the challenge and um, and the experience uh, to learn. Obviously, we played PSG and they were a really high caliber side at the time. Um, and look, it, it's you kind of go. We had to go about the game diff, different tactically, and um, than we would a, a league game, game week in week out. But going into the game on Wednesday, where I think just embrace the challenge, go out with no fear, and and perform on the stage that that you're given the given. Um, that's really it. Yeah, and finally, just going back to the the PSG game, it was a fantastic night in in Tallis Stadium. Are you really disappointed you didn't get a home draw in this game? Yeah, I think it would have been nice. I think uh, it would have been nice to get a home draw. I think we would have been back in Tallis Stadium as well. But look, um, that's out of our control, isn't it? That's uh, your wife obviously did the draw and we're drawn away. But look, we'll go away now. We're leaving this evening and we'll go out and get a good good preparation and do some more analysis and get a training session in on the match pitch tomorrow and be all going to blazing then for Wednesday. Thanks, Anya. Thanks, Gary. Sophie Downey. Hi, Anya. How, Hi, are, you? how are you? I'm good, thank you. Uh, when we spoke to you in the summer, um, it was just before the, the league was about to begin, how impressed have you been by your side or what have you learnt most about your side over the last few months? Yeah, look, it's um, obviously been a really competitive season. Um, obviously, we had one disappointing result um, away to Wexford, um, which we're hoping to put right now when we come back from the Champions League. But um, putting that aside, I think um, sometimes when we have, I don't think we started the, the season to the best of our ability, but we still managed to get results. And um, when we played to our abilities, maybe in Talca Park against Shells, um, I think uh, we, we came in with, with a good result as well. So, look, we've got really big squads. There's a lot of competition for places. Um, training is really good intensity. We're all pushing each other for starting positions. So um, that, that's a really uh, competitive and healthy environment to be in. And some really, really good young players and uh, coming through on Becky Watkins and, and Della Doherty too. Yeah, and um, uh, Glasgow, you're obviously pretty familiar with them. They got to the quarters last year. What do you think it will take to, to really get past them this season? Yeah, I think, look, everyone's going, all 11 players are going to have to be on the game and know the roles and know their tasks, which we will clearly, we're going to, go, which we're clearly going to know before we go out on the pitch. And everyone's going to just have to perform to their best ability and, and go out and um, defend well and, and play play football when we get in the ball and just have no fear. Yeah, and and finally, how much will it mean representing Pima in the Champions League for you? Yeah, I think it's amazing. I think um, that's what you kind of try to win the league for is to, to play in Europe and represent your club and uh, ultimately represent Ireland as well in a European competition. Brilliant, thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Um, Anya, I'm just going to ask a question on behalf of Brendan Graham, his microphone isn't working. Um, you ah. touched on it there where you mentioned Del- Della Doherty and Becky Watkins. How has been the uh, kind of mix between the senior players and the young players in p this year? Yeah, great. I think obviously we've got a lot of experienced players um, Myself, who's uh, they they think I'm uh, ancient <laughs> at this stage. Um, obviously Karen Dugan as well, uh, Neve Burke, um, all played at international level. A lot of girls have played w- world student nationals, and I think uh, it's really welcoming the ability and and the talent both Della and um, Becky Watkins bring to the table as well. And I think they just have to believe in their ability and and go out and perform and they get an opportunity. Um, it's a, it's important to have those young players, isn't it? Because it gives them an opportunity for you to see, you know, uh, you know, having the squad depth. Because obviously you see Soif Doyle has come in and she's adapted to it so, so quickly. Yeah, I think so. I think it probably keeps us on our toes. So Helen keeps everyone on the toes of seeing the, the new talent and it kind of freshens up, freshens up the squad as well and it gives them a lot of experience as well. Yeah, look, we've had some really good additions to the squad this year and Alana McAvoy, Soif Doyle as well. So, so there's a lot of strength and depth there. Thank you.